guys time is back with another lincense video before i get into the fragrance today man i just want to say thanks again man it really means a lot to me uh with all you guys out there chiming in on the videos giving me your two cents uh kind of giving me suggestions on what to buy next honestly i really appreciate the uh support you guys honestly it means a lot and man i, I just can't wait to see where this channel goes man is, is it gonna keep climbing is, is it gonna hit rock bottom who knows but whatever it happens um i can't wait to see uh the results with you guys man you guys honestly are the mvps okay again without you guys be no point in making these videos just go out there and smell good like the rest of you right but you know you guys come here for a reason you guys obviously might or must like me a little bit so i'm back today again i said Latafa, okay now man i bought this one probably near the end of winter the springtime you know spring in wisconsin could pretty much mean winter because sometimes it's still like 40 degrees in may and um you know i it, i have to wait before i can finally wear this fragrance because when you see the note breakdown on this um it's pretty much spices and leather and all that stuff it pretty much screams a cold weather fragrance and honestly we are not even close to that point just yet it's not even august so you know we probably got another couple months before we get into the point of me being able to wear this fragrance however um it's been sitting in a collection of dust over here in the corner motherfuckers i'm sitting on the damn floor right now man it is all gravy man sometimes there's nothing like sitting on a nice comfy ass floor and this floor is pretty damn comfy so i'm sitting on it but again this fragrance is most likely a fall winter nighttime fragrance seems like it's beast mode after what i've just read on fragranica now i'm not going to go on there and read the notes again and stuff like that but i'll just let you know what i think of it but that fragrance is latafa Mahir, the black edition. Mahir, Mahir, black edition with the old horse right there. Now, I did take off the plastic on this because it was kind of beat to shit. Um, again, I got this off eBay. Um, on the bottom, we do have batch code stuff right here. But man, take a look. This is a huge ass box. And that's because that horse head, that bottle is super tall. But man, this kind of this box kind of reminds me of the good old days back when uh, you fellas, especially the fellas, you uh, you know, look in the in your old daddy's closet and you came across his big VHS videos that usually came in a box of this size, all the packaging just for a little VHS tape to take up about that much space. And Lord knows, that kind of looks like a VHS part right there. So please rewind when you're done. Daddy doesn't want to see you watching Granny get rammed. And then you forget to rewind to his favorite part. So, fellas, youngsters, if you come across those big VHS containers that look like this, do yourself a favor and uh, watch it. <laughs> but, uh, nah, man. Um, again, big ass, huge box now. Um, this will kind of remind you guys a little bit of some of the Bucephalus from our moth. I have uh, some of those as well. That one also has a horse head. Um, there is another one from this Latafa lineup, this Mahir. It's pretty much like a, almost looks like a gold edition. But let me show you guys how this box came, okay? So it comes in here. It's pretty much tied in there. Kind of like a puzzle. The horse head goes right in there. I'm not going to jam it in there again right now but as you can see presentation besides this box being beat to shit the presentation was actually quite nice on this and now take a look at this bottle this bottle is pretty damn heavy you guys okay this could hurt somebody if you fucking got this way on the top of your shelf and then you like fucking stumble and grab it and fucking comes on your head you're gonna get a nice little knot right there but anyways this thing is quite nice man hopefully them fucking little horse Horse hairs don't fucking fall on your head if that ever happens. But um, take a look at this whole overall bottle. It's kind of like a, it kind of reminds me, the feel of it, it kind of reminds me of our Moth the Pride, kind of those indents. And it's kind of like this round, kind of rectangular-ish uh, kind of bottle, which is kind of dope. And it's got these like little indents in here. So 
Um, as far as in the hand, it does feel kind of good in a way, but you got to hold it in a specific way to get that good press. So depending on how you hold it, it can kind of feel uncomfortable, but for the most part, uh, pretty decent, comfortable bottle. Overall, the bottle looks dope. And here we go, that Mahir Black Edition. Now again, just got off of for Grantica, okay? And there was a shitload of notes on here, like in the orris root, we got some cedar wood, we got leather, we got oud, we got some incense, we got all type of shit going on here. We got leather, we got some vanilla, we got all that stuff going on in here, okay? But this is actually the first time I'm smelling this, and I kid you not, it really is. Like, again, I just took the plastic off because the whole thing looked like shit. But here we go. Nothing going on right here. Let's see if that sprayer is good. Nice sprayer. It's got that nice pressure sensitive sprayer man you know i really only went close to the hand to see what else i can get out of it but let me just tell you guys in the air this thing is a nuclear bomb okay this is all in this room okay this is pretty much like little den office space and it is pretty much filling up most of this room, okay? And you see, I probably did like two good sprays, so not that many. But man, this one is bomb. This is nuclear bomb right here. This is for that man who is on top of his game, okay? This is the guy who walks into the airport not just with some carry-on luggage, but with that briefcase, because you know he's about to handle some business in a different city. That's the type of guy that's wearing this. This screams, to me, this screams like wealth, screams confidence, it screams egomaniacal a little bit, because if you spray in this and you, you kind of rock it, you have the confidence to do whatever you do. This stuff is, man, it is incensey. It is dark. It is woody. It is earthy. There's nothing sweet about this. This is not just for little old Tom that just got into high school. This is not for that guy, okay? This is for an older, more mature gentleman right here. Again, a gentleman who is confident with whatever he does he can pull this off okay man you're not going to want to go into our office with this because this probably is not a people pleasing fragrance especially if you're going to wear this indoors to me if you are going to be indoors with this one it has to be a wide open space okay don't go in like in an elevator rocking this do not Go into a car, spraying this thing heavily, and then having people in your car. Do not do that, okay? This fragrance needs to be sprayed probably about a good 30 minutes before you go anywhere, okay? So you spray it on, go about five sprays if you got to. Yes, again, it is a nuclear bomb, okay? Go about your business, go into your car, let that kind of fade a little bit, okay? Because if you go in here in a car and you freshly just sprayed this, you're going to choke anybody out who gets in that car, okay? Smoky, leathery, woody, earthy, no sweetness in this one, okay? Fellas, if you kind of are into these type of fragrances, but you only like the fragrances that have that leather, that darkness, but then has a touch of sweetness or anything like that in it, you're not going to find it, especially not within this first 10 or 20 or 30 minutes or so. Now, in the dry down, there is some vanilla and stuff like that. You might get a little bit of that sweet creaminess in there with that. But for the most part, this is leather, woody, smoky, earthy goodness. Again, this is for that. Again, I can't can't say this enough, okay? This is for the most confident man, okay? Because, again, this is not for everybody. This is not the old freshie. This is not the one that just smells like you just jumped out of a gym. You just sprayed something on no, this is for special occasions. When you want to look 
like the guy who owns the Tesla outside, okay? You want to look like the guy who owns the Lamborghini that's sitting outside, not the guy who's just looking at it all day. This is what you're going to wear to one of those parties. You're going to go to a wedding, nice, cool, cool weather wedding, okay? Like one of those nice outdoorsy weddings. You can rock that outdoors. You're going to be smelling great. You're going to be smelling woody, earthy, leathery, smoky, incensey again. Very, very confident men only wearing this, okay? If you're not that confident, especially if you're kind of into the, if you're getting into the fragrance game, do not grab this one, okay? This is for the, the guy who has like a good 20, 30 bottles of fragrance in his collection, especially a guy who has a multiple of different scents, different profiles, okay? Again, if you are into the freshies, if your main thing is like freshies, citrus fragrance, aquatics, this is not going to be for you, okay? Again, this is for the confident, beastie, manly man, okay? Again, leathery, woody, incensey, smoky, no sweet. Man, the leather in this is quite nice. This is that... This is that Dubai fine leather right here. This is that... This isn't just, oh, you know, Target wallet quality. This is good fellows, okay? This is that high quality, soft. You actually like to rub that leather. You'd actually sleep on that leather in a hot, hot day because it feels so damn good on your skin. This is that type of leather. It smells so damn good, you guys. Again, smoky, woody, leathery, incensey, earthy. What more can you ask for, okay? There you guys go. Okay, again, that is a first impression. This is definitely going to be a keeper for me. Definitely going to be rocking this in the wintertime or the fall. Definitely, again, cold weather fragrance, okay? Don't rock this in the summertime. If you are going to rock, rock this in the summertime, you better be indoors with AC pumping, okay? Because that's not the way this is going to work. You wear this on a hot day, you're probably going to choke yourself out. You'll probably be, you know, laying up on the curb somewhere, like, passed out. But, man, beautiful. Mahir, the black edition from Latafa. Man, go check this one out, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Yeah! Get a little thumbnail action in there, too.